let's run our application okay we we have here some exceptions but we still having problem here because of uh it's telling us that it cannot let me uh, see it cannot convert the class chunk request into string serializer so it's trying to to to, to make it as a string so what we are going to do is to okay spring use uh, our, uh, another serializer okay in order to serialize my key and my value so let's just put it like that um, it's going to be apache kafka that common that serialization the key our key here as we can see for producer the key is a string and the value is sales info yes a string value this is for the key and for the value for the value let's just put it like this yeah for the value we are going to try to serialize uh, as a JSON okay so the JSON is uh, another project let's just use the org it should be a spring framework that um, Kafka support okay serializer JSON serializer okay so now let's try to, to run and let's try to understand what is chunk request okay so chunk request is the one that our let's once again uh, put it here our um, manager will send not only okay not as we have in here sales info but it's gonna take sales info wrap okay we're gonna gather them all the sales sales info it's going to gather them into a chunk request okay object which is this one and send it into Kafka okay so we are going to have here like something like for example here inside a sales info DTO in your case will be example contacts or customer person okay so it's gonna take your object and inject it inside uh, um, here okay In, inside uh, the chunk request so this is what we are trying to send okay we are going to send chunk requests into Kafka so now that we have here um, in our application property we have here the serializer uh, to JSON let's try to serialize it so we had here another exception let me just check the reason okay no class found yeah all right we just need to to go and add Jackson dependency okay let's just take and let's add the Jackson dependency now let's run our application once again okay uh, now the error is something different okay it's not the Jackson the Jackson uh, cannot simply serialize our chunk request okay we are going to see well why it's happening uh, but here I can just tell you guys that um, the, the chunk the chunk request is a object it's not a very simple object okay so we need a way to to create a custom serializer okay and the serializer for our chunk request okay maybe you can find another solution but in our case we are just going to for example here create a new package server okay and now let's just create here a new class let's call it by uh, chunk request serializer serializer it should be this one okay from apache kafka 
any type. Okay, let's now implement the method serialize. All right, so the implementation can be very simple. And uh, then we can just, uh, yeah, return the serialization implementation. So we can use one, which is a Spring framework offers us, okay, this serialization uh, utils, then serialize. What we are going to serialize is the chunk request. That's all. And what we need also, we need to create the same thing for the chunk response. Okay, uh, let's create it by, as the manager will send chunk requests, it will consume the chunk response. Okay, so in our case, we need to create this chunk re uh, response, the serializer. So um, it also will implement the serializer in this case, in this case was serializer. Obviously, this, this case is the serializer, and it should be from uh, the serializer from Kafka. Yes, it should be um, chunk response. All right, let's implement the method. Now we are going to use uh, another, once again, the serialization, uh, serialization utils, the serialize, okay, bytes. So it's complaining, we need to cast it. Yes. Okay, it's deprecated, but we can still use it. So doing so, now we have just to change here. For example, the producer will not use this anymore. And now we are going to use our custom serialization. The simple way to use it with IntelliJ is just come in here, copy reference, and go here and paste. If you check, voila. So we do the same for, for example, this is for producer, right? Now let's do the same for consumer. Let's go here and it's not producer anymore. It should be consumer here, consumer here. Okay. And yeah, so here consumer should be the serializer, obviously. So the key should be here, string the serializer. Oops, sorry. The serializer. Here, we are serializing. Here, we are deserializing because we are consuming. Okay. And here, the value should be also the serializer. In our case, what we are going to use is chunk response the serializer. So this is very nice way to create our custom uh, serializer and the serializer utils, utility classes. So as you can see here, we are sending, in this case, we are sending a chunk request, okay, as byte array, and we are receiving some messages from Kafka and we are deserializing it, okay, using our custom uh, the serializer, uh, which receives byte arrays and transforms it into a chunk request. So now let's run our application and see if it's working now. Nice, nice, very nice. So if we take a look here, we can see that we have here, okay, we, we sent chunk request and we have here contribution, okay. If we go back here, into our um, AKHQ, Kafka. Now we can see that we have here an event, okay? Now we receive it, as we can see here. So it's, it's not very nice the way that it's appearing here, but it doesn't matter, okay? Because it's just a byte array. You don't need to, to, to read it, and we can find another way to, to read it. But for now, let's implement our worker side.